and welcome to this video. So in this video, I am going to be showing you five Canva features that I think are brilliant, I think are time saving and definitely worth knowing about and using. So we are going to jump over to my screen and I'm going to show you the very first feature. So first of all, we are going to be looking at the background remover tool. Now, the background remover tool in Canva is brilliant and it's a pro feature. It is a pro feature. I will tell you that now. But the background remover tool is really, really good in Canva. So I've just got to open up a, um, a plain template here. I've got some text and I want to add an image. So I'm going to go over to my photo section. You can upload a photo of your own or you can use one of Canva's photos. There are thousands and thousands of them. I'm going to choose this one here. Now it's got a nice background, but I want to put my own background in. So I've added the photo into my design. It's here and I want to remove the photo, I, uh, the background even. We go over to edit image. And on the left here, you have a background remover tool. If I click this, it will then do its thing in the background. It will take the background out, just leaving me the focal point. I can double check the image to make sure it's right, because over here I have the option to either take out additional parts of the image or to restore additional parts of this image. Um, I'm not going to today because I think it looks good. I'm just going to hit apply. So now I have got no background in my image and I can place this wherever I want. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place it there. So I've got my lovely flowers at the side. OK, I want to add a background to this. So I'm just going to go to elements and I'm going to add a gradient into the background. Gradients are brilliant and I love them. OK, so my second top tip. First top tip, background remover tool, definitely use it. Next top tip is the transparency. Transparency is fantastic if you are looking to add layers and that's what Canva does. You add layers, different elements, text, graphics on top of each other. Sometimes you need to be able to have a better contrast. So transparency feature works really well. Now, as you can see, I've just added a background to this but my text doesn't stand out very well because the gradient, the colors are quite strong in the gradient in the background. So I've selected the background and I'm going over to this multi-square option here. Now this is the transparency feature. I can change the transparency right down to zero if I want to, or I can just give it a hint of color and that's what I'm gonna do. So I've still got my gradient in the background, but I can see my text. I can see my graphic so much easier. So top tip number two, use the transparency feature. OK, I'm going to move on to number three because I don't want this to be a super, super long video. You've got lots to do in your life and your business. So I just want to go through five features that I know will be time saving for you. So number one was the background remover tool. Number two was the transparency tool. Number three is the lock feature. Now the lock feature I do like. So say for example, <clears throat> I wanna move these text boxes. Now I can move them individually and realign them, but if I try and highlight all three, it also moves my background image or my flowers and I don't really want to move my flowers I want them to stay positioned where I've put them so I've got them just where I want I can go over to this padlock here and select lock okay it has now locked these flowers in place I cannot move them the lock feature is brilliant if you have got a lot of layers one on top of the other and you want to move something slightly Sometimes it's difficult to move something with other elements around it. You'll end up moving the lot. And if you've got things in place that you want to keep in place, so multiple elements and you want to keep them there, highlight them, lock them in place. So I have locked my flowers in place. So now I can drag my cursor across my three text boxes and I can move them wherever I want without fear of anything else moving. 
So background remover is number one. Transparency is number two. Lock feature is number three. Okay, so next one, number four, I want to talk to you a bit about spacing. Spacing is all to do with your text and how it looks, okay? So I've clicked on my text box. You may or may not know this little dude here, this little feature here is your spacing feature. And you can either change the spacing between individual letters within a text box, or you can change the space between individual lines. So I can bring my letters closer together or I can take them apart from each other. Now, this is lovely because some of the fonts in Canva are, well, all the fonts are amazing, but some of them, when you put them into a text box and you put your information in, can look a little bit odd and have too much space in between them. So you can bring the space in a little bit, which is what I've done here with my letter spacing. So I think it looks a little bit better now with the letters just slightly closer together. The other feature here is the line spacing feature. Now this can give you extra space between your lines. So if you're creating a nice big poster and you've got big bold words, you might wanna have a bit more space in between them. And this gives you the option to do that. I mean, you can, for example, put your space in the box and then hit enter, but it does make that space the same size as your text. You can't change that spacing. So if you just wanna give your text a little bit of space in between the letters or the words, use the spacing feature. You also have this one down here. Now this, the anchor text box is probably not something that you would use. It's probably more um, for designers and people like that who would use this, but it just helps you know which direction the text is gonna go when you add it more text into the box. So for example, at the moment, it's on down. So if I come and add in some more text, so random letters, you'll notice the box is working downwards. If I delete them. And if I change this to the up and down, watch what happens. It goes up and down. So the box stretches in both directions. And then you can probably guess what the third one does, but I will show you. It will go up. So if you've got other elements and you want to add text around them, but you don't want the text to go over them, you can use this feature just so you know what direction the text is gonna go when you add additional text to the box. Like I say, it's probably something that you generally wouldn't use. It's more um, designers, template creators who would use this feature. So I'm just gonna, ooh, just my spacing has gone a bit funny. There we go, brave and beautiful, brave, beautiful and strong. Okay, so, so far we have looked at, if I can remember, background remover tool, transparency tool, the lock feature, spacing. So that's, that's background remover, transparency, the lock feature and the spacing tool. And lastly, I want to show you resize tool. The resize tool is a fantastic tool that you can use. It is available in Pro, but it is a really, really great tool. So for example, I've got this template here. This would be um, probably sized for a YouTube thumbnail, for example. But what if I wanted to use this particular design for Instagram. I want to promote the YouTube video. I can go over to this awesome little resize tool here. So I'm gonna click on this and I'm gonna show you. So I've got my 1920 by 1080 template at the moment ready to go, but I wanna change this to Instagram. Rather than having to completely redo my whole design in a new template size, I can use this feature. So it has different options here. I can either type in the top Instagram and it will bring up all the different style uh, type sizes that Canva has available for you to use. 
or it gives you some recent ones that you've used. So I've used quite a lot here. Um, or you can type in the exact size if you know it, if it's for something specific like a book cover, you can custom, you can create a custom template as well. I'm going to click Instagram because I want to resize this for Instagram. Now I have two options. I can either copy this and I resize it as a new template. So I keep both. So I keep my YouTube thumbnail size and I also have an additional Instagram size of the same template. That's this one. So when you go to your home screen of your account and all your designs, you will have two templates. Or I can click resize and I will resize this particular template into an Instagram size post. I'm going to click resize and it has changed it to an Instagram size post. But because the original one was long and thin, you will have to maybe move some of the elements around, which is easy to do. I will unlock this because I locked my flowers originally and I will just stretch it out so it fills that corner again. OK, I'm going to lock it again because I want to move my text without moving my flowers. And I can make my text nice and big because I've highlighted all three and it groups all three together. And then I can stretch out the corners and I'm stretching all three text boxes at the same time. And there we have, I've still got my, um, trans my gradient background. I've stretched out my flowers, which I've locked so I could adjust my text. And there you have it. There we have five features of Canva that you can use that I do believe will save you time. So we had the background remover. We have the transparency feature. We have the lock feature. We have the spacing feature. We looked at spacing our text and we also looked at resizing our templates. And I think with those five features, you will be able to create awesome social media graphics for all of your different accounts very, very quickly. Oh. I really hope you have enjoyed this today. I hope you've enjoyed the five features that I've been through. And um, yeah, if you like this video, please subscribe and follow me.